What's going on, everybody? I'm Dan Unfiltered. This is Unfiltered Reactions. And I'm continuing the Tool Fear Inoculum album. I think this is song three, Invincible. Even it, when I say song three, Tool is not like most bands. Their songs are pretty lengthy. Lang length lengthy? Lengthy? Lengthy. They're pretty goddamn long. So, even though it's song three, they give you, like, I think there's only seven songs in the album. But it's over an hour long. It is really a lot of content. They're different. They don't care. They don't try to sell singles to radio stations. That's not what they go for. They go to like paint a picture for you. And either you like it or you don't. I don't even know if they give a shit if you like it or not. I really don't. But let's check it out. Tool Invincible. So far I really like this album. We're two songs in. But again, two songs like to tool is like almost a half an hour. If you're new, please subscribe. If, or at least, if you're new, watch the whole video. If you like the video, then subscribe. Either way is fine. Movies or wrestling channels in the description box. Just plug in my shit. I like the softish kind of Metallica like intro. sounds like that. Thank you. 
audibly paint a goddamn picture. Those lyrics are impactful. That was nasty. The drum roll right into the, the ch transition, crazy. Oh. And the drums are bouncing side to side. Bands at the end of the song. No, not tour. They're like, fuck that. We're not done yet. Is that a distorted guitar? change of pace the drummer just did. Come on, man. Smooth, too. I'm going up. Transitions are 
are ridiculous. God, man, there's so much in there. Like, you can do an entire review breakdown of every Tool song. One, because the length of it, but also the complexity. Every, like, 16 bars of music, it transforms. 16 to 32, somewhere in there. It transforms into a whole new sound. Different rhythm, different pattern, different pacing. It's crazy. I've used this comparison with Tool before, but they're like the Shang song of, of, of metal music. Or rock, whatever you want to call this genre. Because they turn into whatever the fuck they want to, whenever. They just turn into bands and sounds and songs they've killed long ago in the past, and they can just pull it up and turn into it whenever they want. Like a special damn move. It's crazy. It's crazy. And it's hard to do a reaction video to Tool for me, because it's like... There's so much I feel like I want to say, but I wouldn't get into enough detail to make me feel happy without listening to it multiple times and pausing. And if you're new to the channel, I don't pause. I try my very best not to pause. I want to listen to it on the first listen like a real fan, not like the fake, no offense to the guys. If you guys do this for a living, that's great. But the fake YouTubers on there that do the reactions it's like hip hop head listens to Tool. Just, come on, man. You pause it a hundred times. You act fake shocked. Just Leah, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to do that. I want. I like. I like music. I want to listen to it for the first time. That shit was crazy, man. Yeah, 
Most bands would end it at the six minute mark. Nope, that was only half time for Tool. They brought in a distorted guitar. Didn't see that coming. And then the, the, the final act, I didn't know what the hell was going on. It completely changed. It felt like a whole new song for the last two, two and a half minutes. Man, it's crazy. Tool has officially, it's like, okay, Slipknot, new album comes out. Loved it. Everyone is raving about it. It's kind of reviving metal again. Tool's like, all right, cool. And they throw down a fucking gauntlet. Corn is next. I think Ginger's after that. It's it's crazy. Tool basically is just letting Corn and Ginger know, hey, the bar, Slipknot and Tool, the bar's high, people. The bar's fucking high. I could talk about this for 15, 20 more minutes. I'm, I'm not. Don't worry. I'm not gonna hold you guys that long. Probably when I when I finish the album, which I'm gonna do. So if, don't worry. I'm doing them in order. So I'm I'm going to do the whole Tool album. Maybe afterwards I'll review it and I'll be able to talk and have a, just a ridiculous long conversation with you guys about it. Because there's a lot. There is a there's a fucking lot I, I want to say about this song. Numa Numa was. I'm not going to get into Numa. But it was so good. It was so good. For Inoculum, th that was the first, like, the teaser they gave us. And of the three, that was, to me, the weakest one. Not to say it was terrible, no. But it was the weakest one. It was it was alright. It was an above-average Tool song, but these two have been crazy good. Like, there's just so much. And lyrically, this song... Talking about a warrior just trying to stay relevant. It, it makes you think of UFC fighters like BJ Penn who's just clinging to a sport that's trying to let them go. And they get in there and get in blood baths. It's just, there's so much. There's so many things these lyrics can be turned into. And that's another thing about Tool. I always say they're more art than metal. Because if, you, if, if no one's heard a Tool song where they love metal... And then you you play them a tool song like Schism or this, they're gonna they may like it but they may not. They might just think it's strange. It's too it's like not hitting enough. But it, it's more art. It's it, you you really appreciate it the more you listen to it. Like really. And it, the lyrics mean something else to everybody. I think. Like you probably picture different things. Like, you usually could have pictured, like, 300 going on there in the first half, but then the song completely changed in the second half. I don't know. I'm not trying to make a super long video. Tool just uh, itself is already 12 and a half minutes. So I'm going to leave, and I'll save my more detailed discussion on it, I guess, when the, s when the album is over. I'll try it then. But, man, if you guys are new to the channel, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Feel free to comment below. Don't talk shit about my Cavaliers, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just saying. All right, everybody. I'm out. Uh, again, if you like movies, there's a check the description box out for that channel. Or wrestling, that's also down there. And if you're bored, do what I do. Crack open a nice brew. And binge watch the channel, man. Have fun. Oh, I'm going to need two hands. If you are still here through... 12 minutes and 46 seconds, I believe, of Tool, and probably the same amount of time of my ridiculous rambling, then you are a real one.